guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back playing some arc except for this time we're not on the center we are on the volcano boom, boom, boom. so we got a new map we got some new mods rates are up everything's at 15 times except for i think uh the experience is at eight times and i think incubation maturation is at 20 times um, we got a cool new raft mod and some cool stuff to play with. This map is not quite finished, so I understand there are some glitches and things that might be a little bit rough, but we're checking it out. But the big difference this time is, this time I'm in a tribe. So check it out. We got over here, we got Turok and Catherine, and they are both going to be in the tribe. Uh, and then over here, uh, in our little hut, we have got... Uh, another guy here pyro and i think that might be it and there might be one more guy i'm not sure yet um but historically i am terrible at being in tribes because i like to build things on my own yeah because i like to build things on my own oh oh <laughs> and uh so i end up kind of taking over so i'm trying not to do that this time we are, I am going to have a second area where there's like a water pen and I can just kind of do my own building thing over there. But this is the main base. And holy crap, I need to wake up. We need to up some fortitude. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and help these guys get this base started. Get some little bit of gear going. Get some tools. Get things working. And I'll bring you all back. All right, guys. So outside of our little hut, I got ourselves. Everybody is in hide. We have got some metal tools, also got a bunch of cool stuff from drops. So on the map, all the Scorched Earth stuff comes from drops. Um, so I got a bunch of blueprints, I got a whip, I got boomerangs, I got all sorts of cool stuff from a couple drops. Also, we've started to make the footprint for our big base. You can see it's here in Thatch. Um, but now what we really need is more metal. I've noticed on this map, metal can be a little bit sparse. I know there's a ton at the top of the volcano and also on the volcano island that's here. But uh, that doesn't really help me out now because I can't get there, so it's time to get a flyer. So I got some bolas ready. I've seen some terras flying around. We shall see if we can find one in a safe location. Level doesn't really matter at this point. Um, let's, so we just gotta look around. Ooh, Carno, all right. All right, watch out for the Carno. Now we've been running into a water issue here um, there's not a whole lot of it. There's a lake not too far, but hopefully there's enough rain on this map that it won't be too much of a problem. Uh, I saw a ton of Terras over here, and I don't see any. Ooh, ah, ah, run away. Whatever it is. What is it? Oh, it's just a Dillo. Yeah, who cares? All right, we can ignore the Dillo at this point. All right, I'm gonna keep looking around, and I'm gonna find us a flyer. All right, guys, I spotted a Terra level 60, which will be great for the first flyer on the server. Let's go ahead and just trap him. And then we got, uh, I don't know, 23 Trank Arrows. Should be more than enough. Um, come on. Hopefully you go... Oh, there we go. Only two, only two arrows to take him out, really. All right, so, so we got some prime meat already. We'll go ahead and throw on him. We got a few narcotics. Now we just got to sit and wait for this sucker to tame up. And then we'll actually have a flyer, and hopefully it'll help us get some metal a little easier. All right, so the first Terra is up, and I say first because there was another one that flew by and went ahead and knocked it out, and it looks like it was only level 24, which is nothing fancy, but, um, oh, oh, it's got no, uh, no food in it. That's good. Uh, the meat spoiled. Come here. Ah. Hold the meats on this guy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it would take exactly two food to tame this guy. Uh, the first one's done, and this guy should be done pretty soon. That way we just have a little bit of backup. I mean, these guys are pretty much garbage levels, but it'll at least allow us to get around and check out the map a little bit easier. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are airborne, and check this out. The first thing I saw here is a nest. So something they've added in this map. There is a, um, oh, is that going to attack me? There is, like, uh, Argent and Terra nests. Look, we got juvenile Argent. Can we steal their eggs? Is that a thing that we can do? Can, can you get out of the... Get out of the way! Can we actually take the eggs? I don't think so. I think it's just aesthetics. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So you can actually go and tame these juveniles and raise them, uh, which is pretty cool. But that's not what we're about right now. Right now, we need to get some metal. I believe the closest spot for metal is going to be the top of the volcano. Um, the problem is... 
that the top of the volcano also has wyverns. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful here, but we're definitely gonna go check it out and see what we can see. Um, give us a little opportunity to fly around the map and check out the new volcano map. All right, so we got a lava waterfall, which, um, which is something you obviously need. So here I'm a little nervous. I know that wyverns spawn up here. I'm not seeing any though, but they, they can definitely outrun me right now. So this is really dangerous. Um, okay, let's just grab some metal and get out of here. Just land. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get some metal and we'll get some, a little bit of crystal maybe, a little bit of obsidian. Okay, that should be all the obsidian we need to get a little bit of crystal, it's good. just a tad. What we really need is metal. Uh, we gotta start making people some flax, start making people, everybody crossbows and hatchets and the whole deal. Uh, don't, we can't hold that much. Okay, we can hold a little more than that though. All right, so I'm gonna keep grabbing some metal and hopefully get back to base safely. All right guys, so we are taming up a mammoth because uh, we need a berry eater. It's only a level four, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, oh, he's already running. Oh yeah, there he goes, and he's down. Uh, we need something to gather berries with. Uh, we are all in flak. We have got trake arrows and crossbows. Things are moving along pretty quickly, and I forgot to bring mejo berries, so I guess the tinto berries will work just fine. Um, but, oh man, things are moving pretty quick. All right, so while that guy is taming up, I am a little lost. Uh, looking back for our base so that we can go ahead and build the saddle. Oh, there we go. Uh, so you can see things are starting to come along. We've got our little temporary base bigger. We've got some actual dinos now. Uh, Turok's carrying a dodo for some reason. And let's see what it takes to make the saddle for this sucker. So we got hide, fiber, and metal. Okay, so we should have plenty of metal now. Yep, I think it only took 10 and there's 40 right there. Plus the fiber, hide. Hide, fiber, and we should be good to go. And then we should have ourselves a good berry gather. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft this up and then carry it back down. And hopefully by the time I get there, he should be done taming. I think it's only an eight minute tame with our settings right now. All right, we've got ourselves a brand new mammoth. Sweet. So we already got the saddle. It's already in his inventory. So we're going to go ahead and take this sucker. And uh, let's look at the stats. A whole 850 health. How magical. 510 weight, though, and that's really what matters. Uh, let's see what kind of berry gathering this guy does. Ah, see, not too bad. And now we can actually get enough stuff to make some real narcotics. Uh, make our life a little easier. So I'm, so I'm going to go ahead and take this guy. Gather stuff up on the way. And hopefully by the time I get up there, we should have a couple thousand narcotics, or a couple thousand narco berries at least, to make narcotics. Um, plus they gather wood like crazy, they gather good thatch, plus with our increased rates, I don't know, Mammoths are just awesome. It's a great tool to have until you can get a beaver. All right, we are almost back to base with our brand new mammoth. Got a few levels on him, but also got just an absolute ton of narco berries. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do, but Making narcotics is a fantastic way to level up very quickly. And because we have increased rates on the server, it should make a pretty big difference for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these narco berries. Um, oh my gosh, this guy is slow. Um, this is why I always bump speed on my dinos. I can't stand a slow dino. All right, but now we're here. I'm gonna park them right here and grab 2,700 narco berries. Um, we also have a mod on the server called Rotten Box right here, which spoils meat for us. Spoils like one meat a second or something like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take, let's see. I thought we had a bunch more spoiled meat. Yeah, there we go. So let's put half of it in here and half the berries in there. And we should be able to make plenty of narcotics there. And we'll put the other half in here. And now we're literally just gonna stand around for a few minutes and uh, get a bunch of levels. Might have to make a couple more mortar and pestles just to make this go a bit faster. Um, is this thing, ah, see this thing, Ron Box is good, but dang, it still takes a little while. Uh, all right, guys, I do think that is going to be it for today. We actually did a ton, an absolute ton in this episode. We got mammoths and terras and built a building and gathered some metal and got, I, I, I made a long neck rifle. So we are good to go. We have done a lot, start advancing from this new area. 
we do want to do a little bit more pvp this time around i think so we are going to do some more defenses some bigger gates and some turrets and all sorts of cool stuff um let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see on this map and this server uh, before today guys like i said that is gonna be it i do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me uh you can hit me up on all of your in social medias your instagram facebook google plus uh what's the other one twitter yeah all those things um also you can check out my patreon at patreon.com slash obadiah x um until next time guys i will see you later